when I was growing up, well, that really would have been something. We could sit up and read those things and have been, been real smart. <laughs> I would have, have been a good guy there. The kids, the kids that didn't want to go there probably because they called your sister because she was in that big and they reading all the time. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you'd be, yeah, you are in there reading all the time. When do comic books come out, Lynn? When do you see your first comic book? Oh, boy, comic books came out when I was quite small. Yeah. I read comic books. You read, uh, see that? She, see, she. And went to the library. Right, yeah, there were libraries in my town. Yeah, in her <laughs> town. <laughs> in her town, see that? She. She grew up, she told us three, four, Louisiana. She Indian told us. Indiana. Indiana, Apples, Indiana. All these, all these big towns, you know. <laughs> but if she, New Orleans, too. But she'd been staying in New Orleans, so what are you talking about? But she'd been staying out there with Ivory Moon at the farm. <laughs> closest, <laughs> closest farm, the closest, closest town, but we trumped it. And, and we trumped it wasn't as big as the. We sent to Oklahoma about half the size of a, 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 a talk, I mean, a, a commerce. Mm -hmm. What kind of what kind of stuff would have been there? Where you live, was there a name? Was was there enough people that that where you lived that had a name like a, a it, community? And there wasn't a town. Or? It, well, I was in Chapel. Okay. Well, I was in Chapel. That was a, that was the name of. Was that taken from the name? Is there was there a church in the community? Yeah, a, a school. And a school. Big school, black the school that they come in, wise and chapel. So that's where all the picnics and suppers and dances and the whole thing. And all from there it was a rodeo pen and a, and, a, and, it, and that's that's kind of stuff that we we grew up in, and uh, but we were satisfied because that's all we knew. Were the teachers from the community, or uh, were they? Did they train somewhere else in yeah, town? Yeah, most of them, most of the teachers there. They'd be they'd go off to tra train somewhere else and come back there in the in the summer. They come back in the fall and teach, and I come to find out uh, once I got out. And got in college, and come to find out a lot of them teachers were teaching us. Uh, they had, didn't have degrees. They didn't have no degree. Hmm. They didn't have no degree. People finished. Uh, you finished school before some of them did. Then there's something there. But they were smart. That they, they 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 seem smart to us, you know. Smart and good teachers. Yeah. 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 So I, I, I'm trying to picture uh, the size of the community in comparison with, um, we were talking to some, uh, some uh, community members from East Caney, um, and uh, he said, and this, I think this Mr. Eskew's probably in his 80s, um, and he said that he, um, if, if you got in trouble in East Caney, uh, you got a woman at school. <laughs> and you got another one mm -hmm. at your neighbor's house. If you go over to your friend's house, you get one there, and then yeah. you get then you then then your then that parent writes a note and sends it home with you, so you could get a weapon at home too. Yeah, it, <laughs> it was real cool. It was real cool. <laughs> well, he said yeah, he yeah. said it takes a village to raise a kid, and that. <laughs> yeah. it was really cruel that which, that that was that was at that day and time, but. You wouldn't do it now. The kid wouldn't do it now. It'd have you rested now, kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But were they? Was was everybody involved in everybody's business that much then? Uh, yeah, yeah. In a, in a small town, yeah, they, they were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, and, and when I was growing up, they were. But it was some of the meanest, toughest boys. Yeah, because. Uh, you're going to get in trouble, you better be a better fight. So you're going to get a whooping there at school. You're going to get a whooping when you, when you 
careful for, for get off down the road if you lose a the fight. They're going to jump on you again. Then you get home and they're going to have another one. You have your people hear about it. They might hear about it a week later. <laughs> that's, that's the other thing. Yeah. They'll get you at church. Yeah, know? yeah. All that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that. You know, you think about that kind of thing. But you know, all that was true. But you know, it, it was all true there. But uh, you, you just think, what was it that it really helped us out? How did we make it? And people you're getting all that kind of stuff. People thought that that's the way they you do it to straighten up. For, for an instance. Uh, when I uh, became vice principal at, at Booker C. Washington, Wichita Falls, I had a board, um, like one of the boards you see around here, pal. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and some, and the kid, and every teacher, I get him a, had a little board pal, and the English teacher might be a green board. Uh, this one might be a, a red board, and this teacher be a different color, had all different colors. And whenever I saw a kid walk the hall, uh, they better have a board in the hand, what what class they came from. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, if I saw an English board too often, well, I'd get on you about letting the kid be in the kids, keeping the kids in the classroom. Mm -hmm. All right, in the meantime, teacher was real tough on it then. And uh, the teacher would rough up a kid. And if you, if you, if you got a kid, got a kid whooping, that kid gonna come back there raising sand, so you gonna send him back to the office there and get another whooping. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, then, uh, Old Boston, I, I, I also remember him. And he, he, had, he had taught at school at Wiley College, I believe, somewhere. And he came back to Wichita Falls. He was one of the teachers, teaching chemistry. And uh, uh, I heard Boston, I guess he's teaching chemistry, yeah, Dr. Boston. So you hear him talking, Boy, shut your mouth. Now you might be walking the hall. <laughs> shut your mouth. Uh, I'd, I'd say you down the office that more, that more put a bullet on your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't gonna, I, I ain't gonna, that's a so, so yeah. you can't get that, you the one that run in your mouth. Sorry, yeah. yeah, but he ran in my mouth there. Uh, okay, but I said, check the mouth, cut your mouth. No, you go down there. And then once you go down there with me, I'm going to get your butt whooped. I'm going to get your butt there. He said, well, I'm going to tell him what's this. And I, I, you ain't going to tell him, I'm going to lie. I lie like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the teacher there. I lie like a dog. Once I take you down there, you're going to get your tail whooped. All right, I'm ready. <coughs> now, you might be walking the hall, and you hear all this stuff. You hear, hear calling your name when you stop and listen, you know. And uh, <laughs> after school, man, see a Boston. Boston stayed across the street from me.